Hello, and welcome to this edition of Amptitudes. My name is Kevin Treader, Product Marketer with Microchip Technologies Analog Division. In this episode of Amptitudes, we will discuss two and three terminal gas sensors and the associated potentiostatic circuit required to control and manage the sensors. The need for toxic gas monitoring continues to increase as more and more emphasis is placed on the safety of the public as well as employees in potentially hazardous environments, such as oil and gas exploration, chemical processing plants, hospitals, and enclosed areas, such as parking garages and tunnels. There are both two-terminal and three-terminal electrochemical gas sensors in use today, with a majority of the more recent sensors employing three terminals, namely a sensing, reference, and counter electrode. A two-terminal sensor will not have a reference electrode. As the target gas passes through the membrane, it reacts with the surface of the sensing or working electrode, causing either an oxidation or a reduction. If the sensing and counter electrode are connected on the outside of the cell, a current will flow that is proportional to the amount of gas concentration. The reference electrode is used to provide a stable voltage potential for the sensing electrode to maintain good linearity and minimize sensitivity to interfering gases. External circuitry is required to properly measure the current that flows between the electrodes and to provide control for the sensor. This circuitry is called a potentiostatic circuit and serves three main functions, control, current measurement, and biasing. This figure shows a typical potentiostatic circuit for a three-terminal gas sensor. The first function I mentioned is control in which the circuitry maintains the proper voltage between the reference and the working electrode. The control circuitry provides current to the counter electrode in order to balance the ionic current that is flowing between the counter to the working electrode. The second function is to accurately measure the current that results from the presence of the target gas. This is accomplished via a transimpedance amplifier circuit, which converts the current to an equivalent voltage along with some gain and filtering. Finally, it is common to implement a FET that shorts the reference and working electrodes when power is removed. This ensures that the sensor will be ready immediately once power is reapplied. If the sensor is left open circuit when powered off, it could take a few hours in order for the sensor to stabilize once power is applied. The control amplifier should not draw any current from the reference electrode. Hence, a low bias current is required. Any offset on this amplifier will cause a shift in the working electrode's potential when the circuit is switched on. Since these sensors are highly capacitive, a small shift in potential can create large current flows. Hence, low offset is important. The output of the control amplifier drives the counter electrode and hence needs sufficient voltage swing to drive the counter to the required potential and with sufficient current. For the measurement amplifier, low offset is again important as any offset error will contribute to the measured current. Low bias current is also critical as this will create another source of error in the current measurement. Finally, the generated current can be bidirectional, depending on if the reaction is an oxidation or a reduction. So the measurement amplifier must be able to handle sinking sufficient current. Microchip offers a wide variety of amplifiers that are suitable for use with three-terminal gas detection. Zero-drift amplifiers, such as the MCP6V11, offer exceptional performance and low power, while the MCP6421 offers a more cost-effective alternative while still providing low offset and low bias current. Thank you for joining me for this edition of Amptitudes. For more information, please visit www.microchip.com linear. If you have a topic you would like reviewed in Amptitudes, please be sure to leave a comment below.